What I've got here is a guitar with a crack in the back, not in the center seam, which is hard to see on the Sapili, but just off to the side. So uh, we'll try to take care of that. There is a brace kind of going along there that kind of prevents the crack from going any further, but we still want to fix it. And uh, I'll let you know how the fix goes. One of the first things I want to do is sand the inside where the patch will go. And I'm going to be using magnets and I've got some uh, sandpaper shark skin, in fact, on this piece here. So we'll just put this inside the guitar. This one will go on the outside of the guitar and we'll move it back and forth and it'll, this will sand the inside of the guitar. I'm just sanding back and forth here. There is a brace along there, so that's kind of scratching this area up. I'll blow some air in there after and try to clean that up. These are the cleats I'll use. Uh, they're from Stumac and they're CNC'd to be thin yet strong. You can see how the grain goes diagonal. So as you put that across the crack, it, it will be really strong, even at a sixteenth of an inch. So I will use the mahogany one for this guitar. And that will still allow a lot of vibration and will be extremely strong and uh, fix the crack. So what I'm going to use to fix this is uh, this homemade jig with a couple of um, magnets you can get from Lee Valley Tools here in Canada. And I cut a little uh, curve on the bottom side of it that'll fit, fit the cleat. So I'll cut the cleat to length and uh, then the magnets will align. You can see how I've got a piece of plexiglass. Every time they should align just perfectly. So you don't need to go in there and feel for where the crack is. The magnets will, will just know. I've scratched up the bottom of the little cleat we're going to put in there. I'll put some transfer tape on this call and then we'll uh, put the cleat onto the call and the glue that will be on the cleat will be much stronger than just this adhesive on this call. So when you pull this out, this will remain on the guitar. So I've got the transfer tape on that piece and you can see the magnets will still line up perfectly in the center. I've got the piece installed on the back and it, you know, the center line lined up exactly where the crack is. I had determined I needed to have it about a quarter of an inch from the back when the patch goes in, when the cleat goes in, um, the call will line up exactly with the magnets and it will glue exactly where it needs to be. At which point, once it's glued after, I might just run some glue in through here and, uh, and push it down a bit and uh, see if I can you know, also get it to glue in well from the backside once this one's in. Regular tight bond has a strength of about 3,600 pounds per square inch, so that's what we've got on there. Some. Uh, original tight bond. And now to try to get as far back as possible. And feel that um, click of the of the magnets. All looks lined up to me. Now I'm going to use what's called a scissor jack by Stumac and uh, you have this flexible arm you can use to open it and close it. Um, there is a magnet you can use with it too, and so that's the route I'll take. Um, I don't want to apply too much pressure at this point because it's going to be right on the top, not on a brace, and I've found the spot for it. So just the lightest amount of pressure. And so it jumped up to where my magnet is here, and so I had found that, you know, this area would be the perfect spot for the scissor jack. So now I'm just going to tighten the scissor jack and it should push down upon that call that has the, the cleat in it. With the jack now holding that cleat in place, I'm going to actually put some glue, tight bond yet again, down this seam and see what we can do to kind of close it from this side as well. The suction cup with a hole in it. I'm going to blow some air in there. And we'll wipe that 
that up. I'll place the plexiglass over it again. And nothing will glue to the plexiglass. See there, some of the glue is coming out as I press it. This will line up again. Again, where that scissor jack, which is in this zone here, is against the thin top. I want to reinforce that. And so I've got the piece of light uh, spruce with just some uh, cork on the bottom. I'd like to, to actually put a clamp to pull that in a bit. And as that will be pulled in, the uh, crack will close up. So I'm just going to put a clamp here to pull along there and uh, hope close that up a tiny bit. Again, it's providing pressure against that scissor jack. And uh, this, is the, this is the glue up. You can see where that's uh, positioned on the top. And again, reinforced by that piece of spruce. And then of course, uh, we can see where that cleat is. That call easily removed. You can see the transfer tape is still on there. There's the brace there. I've got a flashlight in the guitar as you can see there and it shows the center strip and then where the crack was and that piece of mahogany that I glued in.